Hi, this is Christoph, and this is the second episode in the series on Redis. In the previous episode, we went over using pRedis in Laravel and implementing it. Uh, in this episode, though, we're going to look at PHP Redis. And like I said in the previous episode, the difference is that PHP Redis will perform a lot better under heavy loads. Now, it's a little bit more complicated to install than pRedis, and, uh, but I'll walk you through the steps here. So let's get started. I'm in my virtual machine. Uh, I used Homestead to install a brand new or fresh clean install of Laravel. And I'm SSH'd into the machine. And the first thing I'm going to do is update our packages. Uh, just to make sure we're getting newer stuff. Then after that, I'll uh, we'll install PHP five dev package. And the next step is going to be to get the PHP Redis code onto our machine so that we can then uh, compile it, install it, and all that. All right, now that we have all that installed, it's time to get PHP Redis. And the URL we're going to use is the guy who created it. Um, let's see, let's try this one. Okay, so now we have the master and we're going to unzip it. And that's right, I need to unzip first package. Okay, now we can unzip it. All right, so I don't really want it to stay here. So what I'm going to do is move it to Etsy. Or, yeah, just move it to that. All right. Now what we're going to do is PHP IZE. And then the next thing we're going to do is um, run the configure let that run for a little bit now we can make it make it stall And we can find redis.so at this directory right here. And now we just need to make it so that PHP can find redis.so. And we're going to do that by adding it to redis.ini. Okay. And I'm going to put the full path. Save that. All right. Now we're going to restart. PHP FPM, and also I'm going to restart Nginx just to make sure. And now, um, now that we have that set up, Redis and PHP Redis should be able to communicate together. And in order to test this in Laravel, 
we're going to add a package that lets us do that. Because if you remember from the previous recording, Laravel by default uses PRedis, but we're switching to PHP Redis. And I found a package online that will let us do that. And so let's go ahead and, and go to our code and change that out. So we're going to go to our composer.json. And instead of having PRedis here, which we did in the previous episode, I'm going to replace this with a new one. All right, in this package, I found it uh, here in packages. We're just going to copy this here and paste it right here. There we go. Now we need to go in our directory with composer in it. And we'll do a composer install. And I'll let this run for a few seconds. And let's do an update. All right, so now that we have it, let's verify that. And here it is in the directory. This is in our uh, vendor folder and VLUACAS. And you can see the source. Uh, actually, I'm looking at the wrong one, sorry. Here, the, uh, you can see this one, the V-E-T-R-U-V-E-T. -E -E and the vendor, open this one. This is the going to be the namespace here. And this looks pretty familiar. If you've watched the previous episode, uh, this is just using a service provider to register a new Redis with the same configurations here. So now that we have this, we need to go in the config of the app and change our providers because this is still using the old provider, the P Redis provider. So we're going to comment this out and we are going to change it. Let's see, what was it? I'm just going to copy this. PHP Redis service provider. All right, so now that we have that, the next issue is that PHP Redis by default has its own Redis class. We cannot name this Redis as well. We have to rename this. So you can name it whatever you want. You can name it L Redis for Laravel Redis. You can name it um, Mem, Mem Storage whatever you want, it doesn't matter. The point is it has to be different than just Redis or it won't work, you'll have issues. So I'll name it L Redis. To finalize this, to prove that it works, let's go in our routes. If I can remember where they are, here. And this was the old code. Now let's do this, let's do L Redis connection and then we'll do app set key two, since we already have a key one from the previous episode, app get key two. And we can even print this. All right, and if we go to our page, I messed something up. That's right, I forgot the, va the value. This time it'll work. And there you have it. Just to verify, let's open up our Redis CLI. And there's key two with value two. So there you go, you are now connected to PHP Redis. So that concludes this episode. And in the next episode, we're gonna look at uh, storing view counts for articles, posts, whatever you want, pages, anything. Uh, we can store view counts in memory and retrieve them very quickly instead of having thousands 
of reads and writes in our database. Thanks for watching.